the challenge that an African stu student who is ambitious faces is that they do not have the financing if the household income is insufficient or if they do not get a scholarship. We have to start from the assumption, Haiti, that brilliance is everywhere and that what differentiates who are the people that are building the future and those that aren't is access to opportunity and where we see an avenue for providing that, uh, that access to opportunity is financing African students who are ambitious, who are getting into global universities, who want to be the future heads of Alphabet and other global companies, but do not have the pathway to do that. And we enable that. And this funding partnership with Nelnet Bank is one of the ways of getting there. Lydia, do you think on the continent itself enough is being done to invest in African brilliance? There is so much to be done because we believe that the education sector, as many sectors, requires a symphony of solutions. We need to see more happening to enable literacy and primary education, a lot more to enable girls' education, secondary education, tertiary education in terms of both access and quality. All of that is being done and more needs to be done. The lane that we're working on is a very thin lane, which until now has only been filled by household income and scholarships. And and those two do not meet the demand. So it is a both and, Haiti. We need to do more on the continent and we need to unlock the leadership cadre that will steward Africa to the 21st century and into innovation and into participation. And that is the lane that we are focusing on, enabling African brilliance to have a global impact.